Hi, Brett Bielen from Solarola here. Um, we're just continuing work on the battery box. All right, so our box is coming along and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm just building the shelves right now. So the Model S uh, modules they have kind of a lip on the side of them which is made out of aluminum and that lip is how they are mounted so I have to make these um, shelves so that when you drop the cells in they go right on uh, the lip of the cell goes on the ledge So I just wanted to say a few things about the battery box. The battery box is pretty much the most difficult part of this uh, build. Uh, the battery box not only holds the batteries, it needs to keep them safe so it needs to be strong in all, in all uh, areas. Um, the batteries will be uh, oriented in kind of a shelf system. Also the liquid cooling um, comes into this box and needs to pass through each uh, module and then return to the pump and the radiator. There needs to be an air-cooled circuit also coming through this uh, because I want to seal the box and um, but that's going to trap a lot of heat unless I have an air cooling system so you can see a little fan in the bottom there's also one on this side it blows out this way there is one cell over the top so that's the seventh cell is on the top here it makes for a pretty compact system in a VW bus um, charging wires and main cables will come out this side and then a lot of our signal and uh, electrical vehicle control units will be over on that side so then this whole thing gets capped off and pretty much it's not any larger than what you'd normally have underneath your VW seat so we found a way to really um, hide these cells and and make the system really um, neat and clean Okay, so a moment uh, I've been waiting for for a long time is to have these cells in the box. Everything's uh, torqued down, um, all the main leads are in, the switch is wired, the fuse is in, and um, it was a little extra work to put this main disconnect in the center and have my fuse in the center. It took me a little bit more, uh, a um, kind of a different arrangement of the battery management system, but I was able to do it with some help from uh, some friends at Thunderstruck Motors. And uh, yeah, so all of my battery management wires are in those are all the wires that go to each individual little cell pack so that we can make sure and monitor every part of the battery and now the last thing to do here before I put the final seventh battery in for good is to route the cooling fluid so that's the next thing on the agenda Okay, so the motor is finally in permanently. We kind of fitted it before just to uh, arrange some of our other components, but uh, right now the clutch, the uh, flywheel, we use a really nice lightweight aluminum flywheel. It's all torqued together and positioned. It's really high tolerance stuff. So the clutch is all, all dialed in and the motor is in permanently. <laughs> 